Greetings, this is Ron Smalik, and I wanted to let you know that I did start reading the Hunger Games books. Uh, I recently replied to Sean B. Martin's um, observations of the movie, and I thought, you know, I'm going to just record some of my thoughts as I read the book, uh, whether it's chapter by chapter or uh, section by section, etc. So, so far I've only read about 30 out of 378 pages, which comprises the first two chapters. And um, the very first thing I want to say about this book is that I'm not sure I would have I would have enjoyed reading it or I would have read the whole thing um, if I hadn't already seen the movie. And um, one of the things that popped out at me at first was that this is written in the first person, present tense. Uh, so the character is all is telling the story and saying I I I. And it's in present tense, so it's, I am taking the arrow out of the pig, or whatever. whatever's going on is, is present tense as opposed to past tense, unless it's a flashback. And also the sentence structure itself is very simple. These are very simple uh, phrases. There's, if, if I compare it to the other extreme, maybe J.K. Rowling, where any page that you flip to in any of her books and you put your finger on a sentence, it's going to have commas in it and uh, conjunctions and other grammatical effects but this is very simply written um, a couple of things the, fir the first thing I should say about the plot so far is apparently I was 100 percent wrong uh, in my response to Sean around the whole um, love triangle I guess you could call it because it seems pretty clear at this point in the book that Katniss does not have feelings for Gale. In fact, she says um, directly that there was never anything romantic between them. And when she meets Pita for the first time and he throws her the burnt bread, um, you know, her uh, their eyes. Okay, after she gets the bread, then she her their eyes meet across the playground, and she gets this feeling of embarrassment and looks down. Now, it, it could be because he gave her the bread and she hasn't thanked him and she feels like she owes him. But then she also sees the dandelion and these three things become kind of connected in her mind. The survival of the bread, pita, and the dandelion. And I think she actually does maybe start to have some feelings for him or at least we're supposed to think that a relationship could be built on this connection. Uh, for For any of you who have had an experience where you've had a crush on someone and maybe you were embarrassed to admit it or you didn't really know how you felt about that person I could see where this is going that way um, knowing her background she probably has a hard time well she obviously has a hard time identifying with other kids in general other than what you know she needs to interact with them because she was forced to grow up quickly etc um, just three other quick points that I found interesting one of them is uh, the character Madge which is the mayor's daughter um, I don't remember her from the movie uh, I don't remember them mentioning the tesserae which I I was pretty interested in um, as a mechanic to reinforce um, the whole hunger part of the title I think the movie does let you know that everyone's hungry but the book so far is doing a much better job of letting you know that people are starving and dying of starvation. Um, and then the other interesting thing I don't remember from the movie was the mention of District 13 uh, existing and actually being wiped out. I don't know if it was nuked or what, but uh, I thought that was somewhat interesting as well. And I hope maybe in one of the future books they will actually go there, maybe to the ruins and and discover something. I, I'm you know, totally vamping there, but uh, anyway, um, those are my notes on the first two chapters, and I will probably record more of these as I progress, so uh, if you, I guess I should have started off this saying spoiler warning, if you've seen the movie, nothing should be a spoiler so far, if you haven't seen the movie or read the books, I would say go out and do that, I would be interested to um, sort of trade comments, maybe we can if, I, if there are people that are interested, we could try to read at the same pace. Otherwise, I'm just going to plow into it and see how far I get. Thanks for watching.